In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Madden 23 meta and kind of walking you through why it is so, uh, what makes it good, and what you can learn about it to apply it to your own uh, offense or defense or whatever you're running. Uh, this offense in is going to be in our Patreon membership. You get it for 10 bucks. the whole scheme, uh, not just some of the big overview pieces that we're showing you in this video. So if you do want to take your game to the next level, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. The link is down below. We're in the Colts playbook, tight thoughts, halfback week. This is the meta, and here's why. Um, so a couple of plays that you want to set as audibles. The flood is one of those plays. Uh, you can have the inside zone, or you can have the bench play, and then we want to have mesh spot. Now, if you're running Cincinnati, uh, which you certainly can run Cincinnati and, and have post wheel drag, another really good play, and then you're going to come out in bunch. Now, from bunch, typically what I like to do here is set a couple of different key audibles, one of which is the bunch trail, um, another one is this mesh post, really good play uh, to have, and then I like to come out in the play flood. You could also come out in the play PA read and put flood in that audible slot. So we're gonna come out and bunch. Now, when we come out with our bunch to the wide side of the field, when we audible over to the play flood, this is going to now put this on the short side of the field. Now, the beauty of this play, what makes it so good, there's a lot of different ways and variations to run it, but one of the big keys to this offense is the fact that the slot receiver is pretty hard to defend in man coverage. So if they do want to play you in man coverage, all you want to do is just utilize this corner route on the play flood, and they're going to have to do a lot to stop this specific play. Um, and this is really the most meta play in the game. Um, the corner routes from the slot receivers are really the best way to attack man. It's also the best way to attack zone. Specifically, if I was to run cover four, cover three, or cover two without setting zone drops, what you'll see here is when I audible, that slot receiver is now on the short side of the field. When you pair that with a clear out streak, that's going to clear out an outside third and outside quarter. And I can throw that corner out with a lot of consistency um, to be able to attack cover three, cover four, all of that stuff. So that was cover four. I'll show you cover three here. Again, all I'm doing is putting the, the left side receiver on a uh, streak, which you only want to do that if you do think it's zone. If you think it's man, the post is actually a little better. Um, but as you can see, again, zone, this is just easy reads. Now, the other thing that you can do um, and this is also, you know, even if they want to run like Tampa 2 on you, um, the other thing that you can do with this concept is you can take that backside player and put him on a slot apprentice post, or you can drag him and put the tight end on a trail. Either way is really going to get you the same basic idea. As you can see there, the corner I was running wide open. We just need a little bit more time uh, in the pocket to be able to, to get the separation. So I'll show you that real quick again. So this is going to require a very specific defense for them to go to. There, there is really only two ways to stop this corner route uh, with, a, with a high level of consistency. The first way to stop the corner route is to play uh, match coverage. And match coverage is going to do a decent job at stopping uh, this corner route. So what you're going to see here is if I run the play like this, this match coverage concept is going to defend this corner route, as you can see right there on the left side. The problem is that match coverage can leave you very susceptible to a lot of different things defensively. Um, one of which, this play four verticals, for example, we could go to a setup like this and the running back will be wide open, you know, up the seam. So there's a lot of really good variations to this. The other thing that we can do against match coverage, and this is the ultimate, I think, counter play within the tight slots formation, is you could run this play mesh spot, and the beauty of this play is it should leave this running back potentially wide open or this deep post. I actually got double covered there, so that's pretty crazy. Um, but you can typically have that post open. Uh, the running back was open early before he gets to that player. But another thing that you can do if you are getting a high degree, of, like a high percentage, a lot of uh, a lot of match coverage. One simple solution is to uh, basically just motion this uh, this guy Cromarty. So we're gonna put this tight end on out, do something like this. Now all of a sudden this is gonna turn the match coverage off. They're not gonna be able to play match coverage on you. And now it's gonna be just like a standard cover four drop style defense. So that's one way to deal with match coverage. Another thing that you can do to deal with match coverage, and this is where like quick snap and being able to come out and bunch 
is by calling the play verticals and just streaking this right side receiver. Oftentimes, this is going to give you a one play touchdown against bunch coverage or match coverage. So a simple solution could be no huddling and quick stepping this verticals play. And now you're going to be kind of forcing them to really think twice before they're calling their match coverage. So really the most uh, foolproof way to defend this is going to be to utilize some type of uh, Mabel concept on that short side of the field. So the way that this would practically look is if I go audible over to this play flood, they're going to potentially go to this Tampa two. And basically now what they've got is they've got this guy in a 30 yard or 25 yard cloud flat. And so what you'll see here is this deep cloud flat. It's it, You can kind of fit it in over the top, but realistically, like they're going to be able to defend that. So this is where, again, the ultimate counterplay, in my opinion, especially in this formation, is going to be in this play mesh spot. So if I go to mesh spot now, I can run a setup like this. And what you're going to see here is that this post route on the right side is good enough to clear over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat over there on the sideline. Now I got to ag that and get it away from the KO, but you see the idea. Now, another thing that this does is when they go to these double flat, um, these double Mabel type of coverages, that's where this is another really good setup that you have in the arsenal of this tight slots offense, where you could go to something like this. And now basically you're going to be able to hit the little pockets in the middle of the field and be able to take that part of the defense. So the reason tight slots is meta is because it does a really good job of attacking man coverage with simple setups that are also really good against zone. And then out of that, it requires a very specific sequence of adjustments that are then going to open up other plays. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to check out more about this, join the Patreon. The links down in the description will get you my entire ebook on this formation. And really, I think, take your game to the next level. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.